All right, hi everybody. In this video, we're going to learn how to play and stop a sprite animation when it is moving or still. So in this uh, canvas, we have a blob animation that is playing when an arrow key is pressed, but when no arrow key is pressed, the blob animation is not playing while the fire animation is playing all the time. So I can control when the animation on the blob is playing and not playing. So let's see how the code is working. I declared two global variables, sprite, sprite blob and sprite fire for the two sprites and a constant speed of five. That means when you press an arrow key, it's going to move five pixels up, down, left, or right. On the preload section, I just loaded the blob animation and the fire animation images. And if you look in the image folder, they are there and they're numbered. So they'll play in sequence from one to whatever the last number is. In the setup function, I just created a canvas, I created my sprite at the X and Y coordinate with this width and this height. And then I added the animation and I gave it a name in case I wanted to give it more than one animation, which you can do. So it's I'm calling this one blob and it is stored in the blob and in variable uh, that I declared in the preload. And sprite fire, same thing, created the sprite, added the animation. So let's look at the function key pressed. So these are the key controls and this is how I'm controlling the animation. Function key pressed is, is called every time in the draw functions. The draw function is drawing the background and calling the key pressed function every time. So when the key press function is called, the first thing it's gonna do is stop the animation. If there's no arrow keys pressed, the animation will always be stopped. Okay, the only condition that's gonna change is when you're pressing one of the four arrow keys. So if the up arrow key is down, then it's going to change the sprite Y position by minus five, and it's going to play that animation. Whatever animation is a tap that you added to your sprite, it will play it while that key is down. As soon as that key goes back up and is not down, then the animation will stop. And it's the same with the down arrow. It's going to change the Y position by plus five and play the animation. And the left arrow, it's gonna change the X position by minus five and play the animation. And the right arrow is gonna change the X position by plus five and play the animation. So every time an arrow key is pressed, it is playing the animation and that is the only time the animation is playing. Otherwise, it is stopped. And that's it. That's how you control the animation to stop and play when you are moving or still.